Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. I'm whooped. I just went outside. It's late at night. I walked just under 20 minutes at a very brisk pace, trying to work off some of the bad eating I did today. It's Saturday night, and let's just say that as much as I thought I was actually being good today, I really wasn't. This isn't a video about nutrition, by the way, but I'm starting with that because then I will talk about why today probably went askew. So I had a plan coming into today. My plan was that I wanted to see what would happen if I spent a lot more time on social media, basically promoting my blog posts, some of my videos, and those of others. I wanted to see whether long-term participation in social media would actually have any kind of effect or benefit or bounce or anything would it drive anyone to my blog would it drive anyone to the videos um, you know would anyone even see it would anyone even talk to me so I actually spent yeah I'm the fool about 10 hours straight with maybe about a 45 minute break in there uh, basically posting blog posts of mine uh, to Google Plus and to Twitter. I participated on Facebook, talked to some people. I put a video and a, a link to a blog post on there as well as shared some stuff. I talked to some people today on Twitter that I knew. I didn't talk to anyone on Google+, Plus, which is pretty standard. Well, actually, that's not quite accurate. Uh, I did have one, I think, three or four message conversation with someone on a link that I shared wasn't my video of all things it was a video of some guy saying something really stupid on a recorded program and that was the conversation uh, but in general I wanted to see what would happen uh, see if anyone noticed it all and the, the experiment pretty much gave me what I thought was going to happen which is I had a couple of people here and there who shared something that I put up um, I had a couple of people who on Google Plus plused it, had some people who favored it on Twitter, nothing whatsoever on Facebook, but I pretty much expected that. I don't, you know, usually Facebook isn't a place where any of the stuff that I will share will get a lot of action, if it's mine. If it's other things like baby deers being stroked on their stomach and whining if the guy tries to put them down, everyone watches something like that, but I'm not going to create something like that because Mitchell ain't going outside <laughs> to touch no deer. So there you go. Um, but I wanted to see what would happen. Now, the thing is, I did all that today and I put it out there because one of the things that um, I, when you talk to people, they say you have to keep pumping stuff out all day long, over and over, if you want to get seen by the people who are connected with you or follow you. And I wanted to know what would happen. I'm not someone who automates anything. Uh, okay, let me rephrase that almost nothing. I do have all my blog posts go to Twitter when they post because a lot of times I write those things way in advance and so I might not be around when I want them to go live which is earlier in the morning and it turns out my business blog goes automatically to LinkedIn. I had I didn't even remember that it ever did that. I don't remember setting that up but I must have done that a long time ago. But in general if anyone ever sees anything from me on any of these things and I posted it then I was there at the time and I'm live now and if you see it and you want to talk to me there you go the video is slightly different actually uh, it's if you see it at the time it actually goes live I put it there I haven't figured out how to post time uh, a video yet someone I know my friend Eileen if she ever watches this she'll say I showed you how to do that well I didn't watch it so. <laughs> That's on me. But I wanted to see what would happen. And you know what happened? I got burnt out. What a day uh, trying to keep up with all this stuff. I mean, can you imagine reading tweets uh, and reading all these Google things from all the different people that I follow for 10 hours? At least Facebook was a little bit quiet. It was a lot easier to read. And I didn't go there as often as the other places. And I shared tons of stuff. And that got a couple of, you know, thank yous and maybe did you like that or you know what did you think of that but in general it really didn't really offer anything and I hate to say I kind of expected that but I did um, 
one of the things that I gripe about is that social media really isn't overly social. You may have one or two people who will talk to you, but on Twitter, a lot of people are just pumping stuff out, and they're not even there, so they don't know that you're putting anything out there. They're certainly not there to talk to you. Uh, and I actually tried to talk to some people. I really, you know, I mentioned them. I wrote comments on some of the things I shared, a lot of the things I shared. Nothing. Google Plus, same thing. You know, when you share something, they know that you shared it. Nothing. So, you know, it's stuff like that that sometimes makes you wonder about the, this ROI or return on investment that people put into social media. Is it really worth it? And, you know, you wonder, well, is it that? Is it that no one really cares about the stuff I'm talking about or sharing? Uh, today, I shared a lot of stuff about blogging and writing and motivation, uh, you know, ethics <laughs> and I shared a lot of other folks posts on blogging and SEO and stuff like that you just you just never know you really never know what's gonna hit um, I wasn't political at all I didn't want to talk about uh, the Israel Palestinian thing I didn't want to talk about what bad things Republicans are doing or how many people hate President Obama I, I didn't want to get into any of that I just wanted to see if putting out stuff that I was hoping would be considered quality stuff and motivational stuff would really get anybody talking to me or you know get anyone to come to my blog or anyone to go to my YouTube channel who usually doesn't go didn't happen <sighs> so because of that I ate badly uh, I had set time frame so cooking I basically I made one meal today I snacked on cashews I <laughs> snacked on this uh, Oreo ice cream thing uh, I did heat up some baked beans and then it turns out those things are killer uh, there's just nothing you can do at least I did close the night once I realized that I was gonna be way over on everything I did close the night with a pulled pork barbecue sandwich and some banana pudding and then I went for my walk so I'm still over, but look at this. Well, you can't really tell. There's actual sweat on my head. Yes, I'm sweating. Whew. This ought to be interesting. So I'm out of here. Mitch Mitchell, I'll talk to y'all another time. As soon as I can find that mouse.